We discovered an unknown cancer growth on your liver. It's, it's eating up your liver tissue. The form of resentment, uh, the story is basically about this, this young girl who has been given the horrible news that she is suffering from advanced can uh, or advanced stage of cancer and there is not much hope for her at this point. Um, her only hope to survive is if there's an organ donor and she gets a donation and obviously that is not something you can just get so she has to go to extreme lengths to stay alive basically. I actually play two roles in this film. One is an evil sister. And the other is a kind of sweet sister that everybody kind of relates to. So, but I kind of prefer the evil sister. She, she's fun to play. <laughs> They gave me three months. The worst part about accepting reality is feeling powerless to change it. No matter how you look at it, fate cannot be contained. It's not something you can hold back and it cannot be delayed. When it hits you, then that's it. My character, I think why she was fun to play is because she is, let's call it mysterious, um, you know, from the get-go, what you see is not what you get, and that is why she was so interesting to play, but like I said, I can't give too much away, so I'll just leave the mystery hanging there with regards to my character. being understaffed, having kids help us out. <laughs> we, at some point we, um, we improvised because our battery died and the thing kept flickering, the light kept flickering the whole time. And so we just had to improvise at every point and Osho just made it kind of easy, seeing as it was my first time acting. He just made it easy and kind of gave me direction as to what I should be doing. How much time do I have? I don't want to be the one to tell you this. I mean, it's, it's How difficult. How much time? The one thing that I loved working with Shafeli is just his creativity. Um, we had to do this film with a very limited budget, but the, like, the things that he can do with that budget is just amazing. There are, to this day, things, scenes that I see and I'm like, how did he even do that <laughs> with the budget that we had for this film? So he is just, he always thinks outside of the box and that's why I love working with him because anything is possible with Shavili. <laughs> I think everybody would, would enjoy the film because it leaves you questioning a lot about what happens in society. It was, it was a great experience for myself because it was my first time in front of camera. I always had a dream of working with a camera myself so you know getting a chance to work with a director who's really passionate about the film industry who really wants to make a big difference and an impact. And, you know, just, just to be under his shadow and just to learn from, from the sidelines, it's, it's amazing for me. It was a series of changing outfits to having a stunt double to changing outfits again and then having to change your facial expression, being serial killer-like and then being a sweet person on the other side. It was very challenging, but at the same time, I think that was the most fun I've had on the film. What I realized with this movie specifically is that there are so many opportunities if you are just proactive about it. So my advice would be to just be proactive. You can't sit at home and just wait for people to let you know about this audition. You need to start making connections with people, making contacts, you know. Um, the, the way that I got into this movie in the first place was I actually contacted Oshavelli and I was like, I heard you're making this movie, is there a way I can get involved? So I decided to start putting myself out there and that is I think the key to actually making it work here. Yeah.